happy with the car and I'm I'm happy. As far as the car is concerned, that the five years that I've been driving, um, I must say the wear and tear is not too much. Even my brake pads have not been replaced, though they say that they need a replacement in 25, 30 thousand kilometers or so. But till you don't get a warning light, they don't replace the brake pads. They said that it's still got a long way to go. And I'm still on my 61,000 kilometers, my brake pads are still doing well. My tires also, I have been lucky enough, have done well till now. The internals furnishings are still too good. The headlights are extremely good. In fact, the, the vision on the road is extremely nice. Very nice. In fact, the best I would say. Suspension, how has it aged or not aged at all? Not aged at all. Almost, almost the same. Not even small bush uh, noises yet. Touch wood. I would say it's a very good car. If someone is buying for the first time, yes, it's an experience which you deserve for a lifetime. It's definitely a good car. Safety. I personally have always valued safety and a driving experience. The safety in this car is of paramount importance. And the driving experience is a pleasure. For the first five years, I, I, I never had anything to say. It's now that it's aging. I just don't know how it ages. If it ages gracefully, like what I can see coming over, let's see, it's good to have. I don't Please know whether I'm right or wrong. Um, I do get to see here a lot of road noise now. So is it an issue of the tire? But you've changed the tire. No, not yet. 61. I'm still on the original tires. Typically for a tubeless tire, I would wait for uh, often punctures to happen to replace the tire per se. Plus the Mercedes per se, they keep on analyzing the tire and they give a report whether the tire needs a replacement or so. So neither have they given me. Plus I do myself rotate and uh, balance the tires. So also my tire person says that no, they will go on for a longer time. Yes, typically the rubber element must have worn off on a certain time. So that's why you will get some amount of uh, road noise, which is coming basically because the tires have lost a lot of the tread rubber. So it's got nothing to do with the, uh, let's say the car mechanism undergoing a change. Or the, no, so no, that way my car holding is good. My brake braking is still very nice. Okay. So in spite of the tires and the brake pad, both are definitely worn out but I keep on harping upon them every service that I give you please look upon it and change them which they refuse to because they say no they still got a long way to go. The braking as compared to earlier days and today is there a change in the nip, change in the braking distance or anything like that because uh, since you have been asking them to change. Uh, so what is no change per se but I uh, I feel consciously afraid that it may you know give away so that's why I keep on asking them because the experience with other cars is people have had to change at 30,000 kilometers or so. I have two more in the family, my brothers. Okay. And both of them, they have drivers on their cars. And both of them have changed their pads twice till in 60,000 kilometers. I am sure you've had your highway drives. Yeah. And I'm sure that you would have kind of pedaled sometime. Right. Experience. Um, highway driving, I've been, I've been to Pune quite a few times. The car, the road holding of this car is amazing. That much, I mean, the safety when you drive this car is amazing. The braking, especially because you tend to speed a little bit. I mean, even though you would not want to, you definitely go around to 100 or so at least, 100, 120 or so. And uh, the braking is amazing. By what I mean by braking is amazing, there are twists and turns, especially, you know, when you are on the expressway, there's one turn, which is, you know, there's the Khandala uh, exit and there's a sharp turn which goes towards Pune. So, we all tend to speed there a bit. So, what I have seen is, even though you are at 110, 120 and I'm trying to break and keep the car not to go away from the road one, not to go to the left side since it's a right-sided turn, it holds the road tremendously. The car doesn't move a wee bit, not even a millimeter, I would say. It is so, so nice and so stable. Typically in India, we finally, when we try to sell, we try to make money out of it also. We wouldn't want to lose money. So, we should find out how these luxury cars age in the second-hand market also. What I mean is, if a car is maintained well and it's yeah. a Mercedes, what will I get in a second-hand market as the value? Vis-a-vis okay. -vis a dealer giving me the value for this car. What I mean is a value. How do the car manufacturer value their well-maintained car so that 
I feel it will make me go back to them. How does the family feel it about now? Your kids are also driving cars. They all all love this car. Everybody is very happy when we compare. Three solid points, three negative points. Solid points, safety. Second, uh, it if maintained looks new all the time. Third is uh, dealer are lots of them right now, as compared to the others. Okay. Uh, negative parts, services, and company policies need to be changed. So guys, please like my video and if there's anything you can call out on us and please share the video and help others in sharing my experience. Thank you sir. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank my you. My pleasure.